welcome and welcome to another episode of Monday Morning Message for Beautiful Leaders. I'm Toby Tompkins, the CEO of Safio, and thank you for joining me. I want to talk today about um, something that a lot of leaders who I've been talking to in the workplace are facing and a lot of people who are returning back to the workplace. And um, I really <laughs> was thinking about the title for today's topic. And I have to, I'm reminded of um, what one person in particular said to me. They said, you know, after a year and a half of COVID, the last thing I want to do is go back to the, and I'm going to call it the SOS, the same old shit. And we've been seeing a lot of data in the workplace about um, people sort of going in and resigning, creating new jobs, deciding, being determined that if they can't work remotely, they would rather not work for the organization at all. And there's been a lot of blaming of that on sort of a shift in employee values or commitment, you know. And I, and I want to caution us, I want us to think about uh, looking at this from a different perspective. Um, the workplace has always been a place that people have had to um, learn how to thrive in, particularly if you're different, if you're not like the norm, et cetera. And even what we're even for people who are in the workplace um, and they've enjoyed going back into the workplace this past year of COVID reflection and COVID awareness has made us rethink um, how we want to spend our lives, how we want to use our time. Uh, so a lot of employees and a lot of managers, a lot of leaders are rethinking that. And they're not thinking about this as we initially saw purely from the cost and benefit, the economic benefit. Clearly there's costs, et cetera, to be safe, but companies are now rethinking whether a truly remote workplace environment is also the best option for them. But what they're not thinking about is, and I wanna quote Tony Morrison, is do with the work of their teams, do they really wanna fly? Tony, Tony Morrison, who's a famous African-American writer, um, wrote one, one set of quote that I really, really liked. And the quote reads, want to fly? Well, you got to give up the shit that holds you down. And so many people going back into the workplace today are going back into familiar, unattractive situations, workplace relationships, their bosses haven't evolved their colleagues haven't changed, the environment that they left, um, they get to see more clearly now because they've had time away from it. And the idea of going back into that physical environment is, doesn't feel like it's better, like it's elevated, like it's enabling them to come back and perform in a way that they had forgotten that they weren't performing before. And so for many of those folks or an increasing number of them, they're opting out, they're looking at new choices and they have more options now because in this pandemic time, how you work has fundamentally changed. The, the opportunity to work remotely and, and pursue roles that are outside of the workplace office have significantly expanded. So, so it becomes a real challenge of the leader to think about what do I need to give up that's holding me back from being the best leader that I can for the returning employees to my workplace. So one of the things that I think is really important for leaders to focus on is the quality of your listening. The amount of time that you spend connecting with employees who are back in the workplace, not only in terms of your connecting with them, but creating time and space for them to reconnect. The other is to think about the layout and structure of your workplace, the environment, and what might need to change um, in that environment. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a problem that you have to solve, but it can be one of the things that you discuss with your employees. And then the third thing that I would encourage you to think about is work schedule, work time. And some people are returning to the workplace in, you know, in, in certain kinds of arrangements where they work from home two days a week and they're in the office three days a week, et cetera. But a lot of those policies and rules are being created by human resources or other people based upon, I guess, the business needs. However, what they're experiencing is a significant 
a, a gr increase in, in, in re retention, lack of retention. So maybe if we can begin to use our employee resource groups to understand what might be some ways in which the workplace and the, the way we work can actually support retention, which we know is very, very costly, that that could also help make a difference. So those are just some of the things I want you to think about this week as you are dealing with the returning worker to your workplace. Uh, what are you willing to give up that will hold you back from building and rebuilding that team, creating a more favorable work environment for them um, that makes them wanna get up in the morning and be excited about coming back into a, a better workplace than the one that they left a year and a half ago. All right, hopefully that's helpful. We'll be back again next week with the Monday morning message for beautiful leaders. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at asktoby at Have a great week.